Hello Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and North Node. Welcome to Divine Conversations and welcome to your general energy reading for the month of July of 2022. Thank you all so very much for tuning in. I hope this video finds you well. Please keep in mind, Taurus, that this is a general reading, so please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. Also, this is a timeless reading, Taurus, just because it is associated with or dated for the month of July. That's really Really just for organizational purposes this does not have to resonate for you at that time whenever you are guided to watch this reading and it re resonates then that is the message for you in that moment yes all right Taurus last shuffle here for my Taurans Sun Moon rising and North node let's get into this and see what we've got for you Taurus what's going on for Taurus at this time please spirit what's going on for my Taurans here all right seven of Pentacles yeah, okay. So here's the thing, Taurus. Page of Cups. Yep. Here's the thing. Um, it's funny because I restarted your reading because I was going, I was doing, dealing, dealing with something with the camera. Um, and so I paused and I was like, you know what? Let me just end this right now because I want to, I want to figure out what's going on with my camera and then we'll restart. So this is the second time that I'm doing your reading here, and uh, you have two of the you have a number of cards. In your first, in the first try of your reading, you had more cards, okay? But luckily, I'm glad Spirit didn't decide to dump so many cards on me this time. Um, but I, I'm getting, I got two of the same cards here as the first pull. So okay, so we're gonna go. I'm gonna restart where I was. First of all. I'm seeing a lot of green for you right now. Um, I feel like you really need to go through some healing. You need some alone time right now, Taurus. You may have already been in alone time for some for a while. Um, for some of you, I was picking up that you need to get out of the city or out of the town that you live in and you need to get in with nature at, at some point or to some degree, whether that's you just escape to the coast and you go hang out on the, spend like, a few days on the beach um, if you could take like a three-day weekend that would be really excellent go up to the mountains somewhere somewhere really rural where it's really like you you can disconnect from society and the hustle and bustle of life and just really get connected with nature um, deep grounding i just heard deep grounding is needed here so as much time as you can spend in nature in a forest really I mean, maybe that's maybe that's why I, I would say that because that's what I'm inclined to do. I love like for the forest and the jungle and everything. But if that's not your thing, if you're more of like an ocean person, whatever it is you can do to get connected with the earth and really work on grounding yourself right now, I feel like is best because I feel like you're you're healing from um, you're healing from a lot. I feel like you need to heal from a lot, but I feel like there's a big shift in you okay we're starting you off with the seven of pentacles the page of cups and the hermit now the seven of pentacles and the page of cups were two of the cards that came out in your last round okay um I, what i get with this taurus is you are coming to terms with your life as it currently stands and what it is you see what it is you experience what it is you have in your life in front of you right now and some of you are starting to realize that number one, it isn't what you want, or number two, you aren't going to get what it is you truly have wanted or have been trying to get or or manifest, achieve, receive, whatever. You're not going to be able to get, get it going about it this way or the way that you have been. Um, but even in that, it's like, but wait, is this even really what I want any longer? Um, you may have found, you may find yourself on a bit of a plateau and you're trying to figure out um, where do you go from here? It, do I continue to build on what I have right now or do I restart? Do I start over? Um, I feel like there is definitely an energy of starting over, Taurus. This might be a relationship with you for you. Uh, keep in mind, guys, that I'm not channeling for Venus placements. So technically, I'm not really looking for love readings here in this circumstance but if love or relationships come out then obviously that's something that you need to we need to discuss so we're going to talk about it okay so, but i am picking up on the fact that this is this could be a relationship 
but it doesn't have to be a romantic relationship or even friendship or platonic relationship with another person. This could be your relationship to reality as a whole. That's kind of what I feel like here. And there's some sort of element about this Taurus that is sabotaging or self-sabotaging five of swords wheel of fortune at its baseline taurus this feels materialistic in some way and this may be why i feel like your advice right now is to get out into nature because i feel like this is for someone here who is waking up out of a strong sense of materialism. And that makes sense for you, Taurus. Um, not to say that you're a selfish, materialistic person, but you are, you're a Tauren, okay? You're an earth sign. Uh, you rule the second house, which is, and, and you're also ruled by Venus. So Venus is the, the planet of love and possessions and values and all that kind of stuff and relationships and all that whether it be relationships to other people or relationship to the world around you your experiences your surroundings the second house is that your house of values and possessions and also the house of how you make money so it, these are things that naturally vibe with you taurus but what i feel like this reading is for for some this reading is for someone who is going through an awakening out of that who is finding dissatisfaction in the mundane or all of the things that you used to find contentment or satisfaction in in the past like your job um, uh, having specific possessions in your life working towards acquiring specific possessions um, not to say that any of this is bad, Taurus, because it's not. I just feel like you're reaching a point of spiritual or soul growth where those things don't resonate with you the same way. And with this Five of Swords energy here, you may have been in a period of resisting this change, which has been in effect sabotaging you. I get that you're at a point right now, Taurus, where you have no other choice but to go within the hermit and start to really understand what it is that's shifting within you. Because you're not satisfied with what you have in your life at this moment and continuing to dig your heels in and just keep going in the direction that you've been going in, which is pretty natural to you being a fixed sign. Fixed signs, I mean, humans have difficulty with change anyway, but especially fixed signs, um, you know, it technically or in essence, they maintain the momentum of where it is you're going, how it is you've been getting there, whatnot, whatever. So changing course or changing direction is really not something a fixed sign is interested in doing, let alone a Tauren, the most, <laughs> you know what I mean? The earth sign of all the fixed signs, right? The densest of all the fixed signs. Okay. Overall energy is the Knight of Pentacles. You know, what I get from the Knight of Pentacles here is that um, you've been very practical about this shift or this change that you've been feeling. And um, over and over and over again, you've just been trying, it's like you've been trying each and everything that you could to try and stay on the same path, which is very diligent of you, which is very committed of you, which is fairly honorable of you. You didn't just... You didn't want to change paths or change courses on a whim, you know, especially if you're in a position where you have people that are dependent on you in some way. Um, so you gave it a good try. You, I feel like with this Knight of Pentacles energy as your overall energy, you have exhausted all of the potential options to keep up with the status quo or to keep up with how you've been going or what's been going on for you up until now. So now it feels like it's time for you to really change course, find a new way forward, but that's going to take you disconnecting from your surroundings and potentially even getting into nature, um, spending some time in nature so that you can clear your mind and listen to the promptings 
of your higher self, of your soul, of, you know, of your guides, your way showers, whatnot, whatever, whatever it is you, whomever it is you pray to, God, source, creator, you know, your ancestors, whomever, okay? You've got to start, you've got to go within and figure out what this new dream is that you're trying to bring to the fruition or, or to the forefront, okay? The hermit to the page of cups. All right, let's get some clarification going for my Taurans here. Last shuffle. I want to start with the Seven of Pentacles for you. What's the Seven of Pentacles for my Taurans, please, Spirit? What's the Seven of Pentacles for Taurus? Four of Cups is your overall energy. That is a card that came out in your first round here. So is the Three of Cups. King of Wands, Three of Cups, and the Hermit. With the Four of Cups as your overall energy. All right, so Taurus. This is very out of character for you. I will say this. Because it seems that you are going against the grain or are going against the status quo in some way. All right. You have the King of Wands here, which speaks to determination, um, getting what it is that you want. Uh, the King of Wands is, a ve is very authentic in terms of what it is he does or does not want. He's not the type of individual or the, not the type of energy to allow anyone to sway him from something he truly desires. Regardless as to what anybody says about it, the King of Wands is going to go after what he wants. Okay, with that, you have the Three of Cups, which is a bit of a hive mind mentality, um, a status quo type of energy. Um, it is a celebration. It can be a celebration, yes. But I, I, I often read the Three of Cups as a way... Oh, jeez. <laughs> oh my God, hold on. Sorry guys, I had to pause for a second there because um, all of a sudden this music started playing outside my apartment because somebody was driving by with it, with it blasting. And at first it sounded like my cat was getting into a fight outside. It scared the hell out of me. But no, it was just music, everything's fine. So okay, um, I'm reading this Three of Cups as a bit of a status quo energy or a hive mind mentality or at least a collective of people that agree on a certain belief system, a certain desire, you know, this this feels like it, if this is not an, an immediate like group of people around you, like your close friends or whatnot, whatever, this Three of Cups represents a community, a communal way of thinking, okay? A collective belief system. Um, and then with that, you have the hermit. Again, you have the hermit here. So there is an energy here, Taurus, of you needing to find your own way forward at this point. Because with this, because remember, we're clarifying the Seven of Pentacles here. And what I'm getting from the Seven of Pentacles for you, Taurus, is that you're coming up on a harvest or you're starting to see, you're seeing or noticing the fruits of your labor, which quite frankly may not be different this time from any other time. The actual product, the actual result, what you actually see in front of you or have in front of you to show for whatever it is you've been working towards or whatever this belief system is. But at this point, Taurus, I feel like you're seeing this same harvest differently. It's not as fulfilling for you anymore. Four of Cups is your overall energy, okay? You just, you're not interested anymore or you're bored with it for some reason. You want, and it doesn't matter. It really doesn't even matter what the reason is, Taurus. You just want something new and that's fine. So what I'm getting with this clarification of the Seven of Pentacles here for you is that you have some sort of desire to move in a new direction, to go after something that it is that you really truly want. And it's different, Three of Cups, it's different than what, wow, okay, it's different than what everyone else says you should want or it's different than what the hive mind believes. It's different from what the community around you, whether this be your friends or your family or a combination of both, all agree on. 
is acceptable, is appropriate, is proper, is what you guys want or what they believe in, whatnot, whatever. You, you are coming, and this actually, I'm going to be honest with you, Taurus, this does feel a little weird for a Taurus, just because you're a fixed sign, but also we're all going through ascension. We're all going through spiritual awakening, and this is kind of what that feels like, okay? You start to lose interest in the mundane, in the same old, same old, in the everyday routine that you once found stability and contentment in. Everything changes for you. You start to dream of something more. You start to realize the page of cups. You start to realize that there is more out there than just what you see on the surface. And you go looking for that. You go digging for that. You go digging for that greater sense of satisfaction, contentment. Okay, with all of that said, Taurus, let's talk about then what the Hermit has to say. What's the Hermit for Taurus here, please? Especially since the Hermit came out twice. Clarify the Hermit for Taurus, please. Six of Cups, the past. Nostalgia. Clarify the Hermit, please, for Taurus. Oh, oh boy. Wow. Knight of Swords is your overall energy. You have the Six of Cups, you have the Two of Pentacles, you have the Eight of Swords, the Seven of Swords, the Page of Pentacles. Taurus, I feel like this is a breakthrough that has been in the works for quite a while. I mean, I don't want to put a, I don't want to define how long this has been for you. I just feel like you've been going back and forth on this for some time. And I feel like you've been hiding this not really just from yourself. You can't, you couldn't really hide it from yourself because no matter to what Taurus, it was always there. You were always aware of it, but you didn't know what to do about it. You didn't know what to say. And you definitely did not want to let anyone around you know that this feeling was creeping up within you, this feeling of dissatisfaction. Okay? What you have here is the Six of Cups, which is talking about the past. It's talking about nostalgia. It's talking about all of those elements that, you, that are from your past. And I don't mean just like your distant past. I mean just like the past in the old you, in terms of the old you, because there's a new you that's emerging. And the past has been here in your face or has been in your vicinity, all right? You're surrounded by the past, but you're juggling the past, the old you, two of pentacles, with a new version of you that is bubbling up under the surface or that is bubbling up from within you. And you've been going back and forth here, okay? In one moment, feeling super, totally fine in the status quo or what everything has been. In another moment, feeling this urge for something new, feeling this pull towards something more, feeling this different energy within you starting to well up and you're like, what is this feeling? This isn't typically me, but you know that it's you because it's coming from you and yet it's slightly foreign to you. You don't understand what it is. You don't know what it is. So there's this juggling between the past and the present. Kind of want to say the future, but it really is the present. With that, you have the Eight of Swords, feelings of being trapped, mental prison, a closed mind, okay? Eight of Swords to the Seven of Swords. I feel like some of you started to vibe with this new version of yourself, or at least you started to ask yourself, well, what do I do about that? How do I bring this out? Like, what is this even within me? But there's a part of you that felt trapped in the past. That is an illusion. Eight of Swords to the Seven of Swords. You're not trapped in the past, not at all. All you have to do is take a step out on that new version of yourself, Page of Pentacles. It's going to feel unsettled or unsettling. You're gonna to have to find your training wheels a little bit, but ultimately you are able to start a new path or to start a new life or to move forward in a new way. Knight of Swords energy. The Knight of Swords here is giving me feelings of you fighting against what is natural. Or I'm hearing fighting against what is real for you. When all you really need to do is just take this new Start, start this new journey, start this new path. What it is, 
What, how do you start that? I don't know. What is that? I don't know. That's why I feel like the message in the beginning of this was you need to disconnect from the world for a little bit. If you can take a vacation, go on a vacation. If you can get away to the mountains or, or you know, the forest or a beach or something, just get with nature. Nature is going to help you ground yourself, is going to help you clear your mind so that you can hear what's coming through or so that you can feel these next steps. I want to clarify the Five of Swords. Clarify the Five of Swords for Taurus, please. Nine of Wands. Yeah. Knight of Wands in reverse. Ooh. Clarify the Five of Swords. Just one more card. And Death. Yeah. Yeah, you've really been resisting this, Taurus. Overall energy is the Eight of Cups. I mean, you can't get any clearer than that. Okay, the five of swords energy has been you self-sabotaging in terms of keeping up with where you've been going instead of listening to yourself and starting to make some sort of change. You have the nine of wands, which is a perseverance card, okay, which is an energy of perseverance, just keep going. That used to be my just keep swimming card, you know, like Dory from Finding Nemo, just keep swimming, just keep going. But the Knight of Wands in reverse is saying that you're going in a different, a, 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 the wrong direction. You're not passionate about this anymore. You're not engaged in this anymore. This is not where your true sense of inspiration lies. There's a transformation that's trying to come through for you here, Taurus. And with this Five of Swords energy, you have been sabotaging yourself by trying to keep up with what you know. But again, that doesn't surprise me. Not to say that you're like a super stubborn person or a bad person. That is not what I'm saying at all. What I'm saying is you're a fixed sign. And like I said, of like humans in general don't really like change, even though change is inevitable. We all struggle with change to a certain degree, especially depending on what it is. A fixed sign, especially such as Taurus, tends to struggle the most with change. And again, it especially depends on what this specifically means for you. Because Taurus, this may very well be something that really truly had a lot of meaning for you at one point in your life. But you have changed or you are changing as a person. It's time to walk away eight of cups from whatever it is you've been desperately trying to preserve that is no longer resonant to your life or no longer fits for you, okay? Last thing I want to clarify here for you, Taurus, is this Wheel of Fortune. Clarify the Wheel of Fortune. There's the Knight of Swords again with the High Priestess. Clarify the Wheel of Fortune for Taurus, please. And the Seven of Wands. And we're back to the Seven of Pentacles. I am not going to sit here and try and figure out or channel what this Wheel of Fortune ultimately could mean for you, okay? Because that is something that you need to figure out on your own. That is something you need to communicate with yourself about so that you can find the meaning in all of this. It really isn't for me to tell you that. I, I mean, I know that I'm in a position to do so or to be able to do so, but with the Hermit coming out here twice, I'm getting a very strong energy, a very strong message of you need to be communicating with yourself in this. You, it, it's time, it really does feel like Taurus, it might be time for you to leave the status quo behind, to, do, to leave a level of traditionalism behind um, and to start to go your own way, to pave your own path. Uh, you are you are symbolized by the hierophant. You are symbolized as the hierophant in the major arcana, and the ma and the hierophant is all about traditionalism. You are a very traditionalist type of energy, but there is something new, revolutionary that's coming through you. I know that sounds completely ludicrous to be here in a Taurus energy or in a Tauran, but you may have other placements, Taurus, that help to influence this in you or depending on where you are in your life. I mean, shit, you could be hitting your Saturn return right now, okay? That totally could bring this type of revolutionary energy into your life. But in clarifying the Wheel of Fortune, 
I, this is why I'm saying I know I could be in a position to tell you what the new beautiful, wonderful things are that are coming to you, but it's not for me to tell you that. That is for your higher self to tell you. That is why you need to get away, go out in nature and ground yourself and get clear, hear what it is that your intuition, your higher self is trying to tell you. Because the wheel of fortune represents you again, trying to keep up with the status quo, trying to keep the wheel of whatever has been going, going. You're trying to keep that going. You're not trying to stop it. You're not trying to change direction. Clarifying the Wheel of Fortune, you have this, the Knight of Swords, the High Priestess, and the Seven of Wands. It's a High Priestess sandwich. You're fighting against the universe. You're fighting against your intuition. You are trying to block out the messages that are coming from your higher self that are trying to influence change in your life. Change for the better. And yes, I am hearing that it is changed for the better for all who are involved in your life. And then we're back to the seven of pentacles as your overall energy. We're circling back to the main, to the initial first message for you here, the seven of pentacles. Something isn't hitting right. Something isn't hitting the same. You are receiving, you are seeing the harvest, the fruits of your labors, whatnot, whatever, and it just doesn't feel the same. So that means it's time to switch it up. It's time to switch it up, Taurus. All right, last thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna clarify the Page of Cups for you. What is the Page of Cups for Taurus, please? What is this new thing that Taurus dreams of? Oh my, the Two of Cups. Uh-oh. What is this Page of Cups for Taurus? The moon and the, <laughs> and the Wheel of Fortune. The Ace of Swords. You desire new connections, Taurus. There you go. There's the Wheel of Fortune. And there's me. And there's me saying to you, well, it's not for me to define what this is for you. But then the universe is like, all right, but we'll give you a little bit of a hint. The Two of Cups, the Moon, and the Wheel of Fortune. You desire new associations. You desire new relationships. You desire new connections. You desire to be around people who think differently than the people that you're around right now. You may even desire a relationship as a whole. The Two of Cups, the Moon, and the Wheel of Fortune. This is literally just giving me status quo, the same old, same old. You desire new relationships. You desire new connections. You desire connections that feed your soul, new conversations, new things to explore, new people to talk to, new places to go to, new things to see, new places to visit. You're just bored. You're bored with your current life, Taurus, and there is nothing wrong with that. You are allowed to experience new things. You just have to allow yourself to do it, okay? All right, closing message, potential outcome for you, Taurus, in this reading for you. Closing message, potential outcome. Two of pentacles again. All right, you're juggling. You're still juggling, Taurus. Closing message, potential outcome. Page of Swords. And the Four of Swords. All right. So, and then the Eight of Pentacles. Yes. All right. Eight of Pentacles is your overall energy here. Okay. Your closing message here, Taurus, is that you need to stop juggling. You need to look at the, 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 the realities here, the past and the present, and think about Think about it, learn about it, investigate it. Stop trying to push it away, okay? This is coming up for you for a reason. This is not, this, this isn't some, you're not moving forward or trying to change things on a whim, being all willy nilly. No, this is coming up for you for a reason. So it's worth it. It would behoove you. It's worth it for yourself to investigate what this is. Instead of just trying to get by, 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 by just like, I don't know, doing what it is, the very little that you can to keep this new thing from overtaking you, I guess. 
maybe it's time to give it, do it some justice and give it a little bit of investigation. At least take some time, get away from everything and settle yourself down, get yourself grounded and clear your mind and investigate, think about it, communicate with yourself about it. See where it takes you, see where it leads you. See how you feel about it. I feel like some of you aren't even allowing yourself to feel into it because you know it's gonna change everything. And that's the biggest no-no of all, changing things. But it's time to change, Taurus. Your soul is calling for it, okay? All right, let's get your closing oracle guidance here. We're gonna go with the uh, Crystal Mandala Oracle. Here we go. Last shuffle here. Closing messages for my Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and North Node. Card number 48, Goddess Freya and Amber, the Untamed. Ooh, Taurus. Mm, 48, okay, okay, hold on. Almost there. Almost there we go. All right, the Untamed. We bring you the empowerment of the untamed. To be untamed is to be true to oneself without condition. It is freedom, but it is not always easy. There are many belief systems, some of which are considered to be essential and beyond question to mainstream human society, which would mark an untamed spirit as a dangerous and suspicious creature, even though that untamed spirit serves unconditional love. Yet to be untamed is the only way to discover who you are and live your destiny, your divine destiny. Behind the clothing, the social masks, and the stories you tell yourself or that others tell you, there is a beautiful, wild, divine creature that wants out. Uncage that divinity and watch your wild beauty emerge as you and your world transform through raw grace. <clears throat> Sorry for coughing in your ear like that, but as soon as I, someone, someone did not like that. <clears throat> but you know what I feel like? I feel like it's a cross watcher that doesn't like that. A cross watcher that doesn't want you to change at all. That doesn't want you to follow your intuition or follow your heart. Because when I tapped into the message behind my throat closing up like that, I heard you bite your tongue. Oh yeah? Maybe it's you, Taurus. Maybe you don't like this change, but hey, I'm not here to tell you what to do. All I can say is if you keep fighting this urge within yourself, it's going to create, it's going, it's going to be a disaster because ultimately it's going to come out somehow. And the more you resist it, the more you fight it, the more intense it's going to get, which means the more destructive, catastrophic it's going to be when it finally does emerge. I'm not, hey, look. Don't shoot the messenger, man, okay? <laughs> anyway, Taurus, there you have it. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope this was helpful for you. Uh, please make sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe if you feel so inclined and you haven't done so already. Also, if you would like a personal reading with me, I am available for that. Check the information in the description box below. Shoot me an email, letting me know that you're, you're interested, and I will be more than happy to get you all hooked up. But with that said, Taurus, I hope you have a fantastic month and I look forward to connecting with you again for our next reading very, very soon. Yes? Excellent. Bye.